guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. Joining me today for another ephemera, vintage ephemera kit that I purchased from Winsy Barn Vintage. So this is my second time around ordering from her. I really like the first kit she had. So most of these items I want to add in some of the journals that I'll be making in the future. So let's have a look and see what this kit came with. And I love how she packaged it really well. So we have several sizes for the ephemera. Let's start with the paper pack. So right here, this ad definitely has a 70s feel to it. This is the Chef Boyardee. And here are some of the other vintage um, ads. That's really cool. And then here we have a rub-on transfer. And it says, it's good to be the queen. How cool is that? We have more of a vintage ads. I love reading this and just taking a look and seeing what the prices are. She had a good variety of sheets that she had put in her listing as pictures that I really like. And these are pretty new to me. I have not seen that in the posting. College marches. 40 cents, so this is a folio. So it's a cover, okay, that's cool. Step by step, oh, how cute. We have a, a Spanish version of this beautiful children's book, how cute. Look at the doggy. We have some of the notebook paper little music sheet. This was in her uh, listing, the game machine. I thought this was really interesting to see what the, it says score sheet for Code Hunter. It doesn't say what year, maybe 80s or 70s even. Love that font. And here's, love this image again has that boho feel to it. So I really love the color of that. And this one is a little container for a lettering set. It says 1966. And it's a stencil lettering guide. That's really cool. That would make a great pocket in a junk journal. We also have another beautiful music sheet here diary and work record i really love how she mixes up everything last time she also included um, a map and this time i love the fact that it's a map from europe and this one's spain excuse the noise i can hear them then we have italy on the back side that's really cool and we have a tulip illustration here it isn't signed, but that's really cool. I love that. So we have these guys. Now let's have a look at the smaller packets. Just put that aside there. We'll start with the bigger one here. She also included one of those um, drink umbrellas. Let's see what's in here. We have a drink umbrella, looks like a W or an M. Little lotto ticket, 1994. Rolodex cards. Little cut on, these are fun to use too for collaging. And we have some postcards, yes. Yeah, so I saw this in the listing and I thought it was pretty fun to uh, see what these look like in person and fun to add to a junk journal. Really pretty. It says Vatican. How cool. And then we have one and this one's Moulin Rouge postcard. Nice. Paris. Really nice. Beautiful, cute lily stationary sheet there. And we have another uh, recipe. She included a recipe um, 
piece and the other one and this time it is banana bread I'm definitely gonna try these and how adorable is this kitty stationary with the butterfly that's so pretty and we have a nice bookmark with a poem another one I wonder if this is Paris it is the Louvre and the garden Trying to see if there's a date. That's so cool. That's really pretty. And we have a bingo card. Now she had the smaller ones as well. She added uh, the last time, the last uh, color sight uh, film that she had was from the Vatican. So this one looks like a grandma and her grandchild. We have Burger King holographic um, little sticker. And this is what caught my eye too. I love birds. Look at these mini playing cards. They have cute little birds on there. Super adorable. Love that. And then we have a little um, Monopoly card, chance card. A variety of playing cards, always cool to have. I love this one. We have Rules for Snap, another random card. Capricornus card. And Play Money. Looks like we have a match stick container for a restaurant and more of those play money and look we have a llama or is that an alpaca llama rama that's so cute little puzzle piece i love this look with the baseball theme and then we have another stationary sheet that's really pretty little vintage label and oh another recipe apanado have to find out what that is and we have a couple more so hold on We have these pearl looking um, sticks that probably came from a little artificial flower arrangement. Cute little rosette. Again, these will be fun to use in a junk journal. Here's one that was made of embroidery floss. Definitely has that boho theme to it. We have beautiful embroidery floss there. We have some ribbon, different size theme here. And a little scrap of fabric, definitely will go well with a tassel. And here's some beautiful lace trim, that's really pretty. And we have one more package. This one has a small little dinosaur. We have some vintage pink buttons. Love that. A key. We have another one of the vintage buttons here. Again, perfect for my junk journals. And here's one with a butterfly. And this looks like a sunflower camera. That's so cool. Another little flat back button. And King Orange B. Little cap to a drink. Hope you guys enjoy this little vintage ephemera haul. Uh, join me again next time. I'll be doing some project shares of some of the future junk journals I'll be making and probably do some collaging with some of the items here too. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time. Bye!